All right, guys, Levi Trumbull reporting in Washington County, Maryland, at the Washington County State's Attorney's Office to report on potential prosecutorial misconduct. We're here today with Sean Porter. So what do you want to say about this whole situation, sure. Mr. Porter? Well, it's, uh, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Um, this public is our lobby, public property, freedom of the press. We're doing an interview. Could you please leave us alone for 30 seconds to finish it? Have a great day. So anyway, as I was saying, we're here about Gina, Gina Contraception's prosecutorial misconduct by allowing Kenny Shapiro to prosecute his former co-worker and close friend, attorney John Discavage. What's worse is he's basically null prost almost every case that has come across his desk. He's in charge of district court, of course, mm -hmm. um, except for his uh, uh, BS case against his ex-wife whom he is prosecuting with absolutely no evidence just on the say-so of his close friend, attorney John Discavage. So what you have here is an issue where the attorney, um, it should have been special prosecuted out. And so what happened is instead, Gina Contraception, or however you pronounce her name, an elected official has uh, Kenny Shapiro as her deputy. He's in charge of district court, and he's literally given a pass uh, to his friend, attorney John Discavage, and null processing cases by and through his subordinates. So there is not supposed to be any sort of impropriety. The illusion or appearance of impropriety is impropriety in and of itself. But again, I just have a ninth grade education, so I'm not exactly an expert. We're going to leave it to the Attorney Grievance Commission to figure this whole mess out. But there should have been a special prosecutor signed, just like in Frederick County, when uh, Special Prosecutor Natasha Blount from the Howard County State's Attorney's Office was assigned to prosecute attorney John Discavage in Frederick for his assault uh, cases that he had down there. So that's what should have happened in this case, but it did not. So it sounds to me like your problem here with this issue is the fact that there is an attorney in Frederick who has connections with the state's attorney, a state's attorney here in Washington County, and that state's attorney here in Washington County is overseeing essentially the case of a friend slash colleague? No, what it is is they actually work together in Frederick County at the state's attorney's oh. office. So Kenny Shapiro worked with attorney John Discavage. They went drinking together. And it's funny, basically, Kenny Shapiro was prosecuting his ex-wife because she filed for full custody, got a protective order, mm -hmm. and then the subsequent violations of the protective order have been null prost by uh, subordinates of Kenny Shapiro. And it's funny because Kenny Shapiro was actually photographed by the woman he's prosecuting on behalf of attorney John Discavage, maliciously so. It's corrupt as hell up in here. I mean, they're prosecuting everybody up in here. If you piss off Gina Contraception or Kenny Shapiro or any of their friends, look out. They will literally file for charges with no evidence. The only witness is attorney John Discavage against his ex-wife. So let's talk about this whole situation with the ex-wife. I know there is what a stalking criminal charge against her and when i read the affidavit of probable cause to me Best it doesn't selling fiction novel yeah <laughs> to me it really doesn't seem like the the any elements of stalking are presented remember stalking relates to the physical approach or the pursuit of somebody however this is oh somebody might have dropped the gps tracker in my vehicle well, let me put it to you this way. I filed a, a peace order against attorney John Discavage um, because he came after me with a baseball bat. He threatened to kill me on video to two deputies while holding two guns in his hands. And uh, he sent harassing and threatening texts. And, you know, I had to block him. And then he kept harassing me it, on August 3rd and on August 18th at the Frederick County District Courtroom, uh, courtroom three, and then I think courtroom one, I'm not certain. But he, he harassed me in court, and then he harassed me when I left court for a totally unrelated case um, and tried to influence my testimony. So this guy has been harassing me forever. So I filed a, uh, a peace order against him on September 1st. And on September 2nd, guess what he did? He filed a peace order against me and said that I was harassing him by posting YouTube videos of public record body camera footage of him threatening to kill me. Yeah, come on in, man. We're just doing an interview about corruption here with uh, our elected state's attorney. Uh, how do you feel about corruption with politicians? Do you have any comment on that? Think. Not a good Long hair. No, I have nothing good to say about any of them. Well, we got corrupt state's attorney Gina Contraception back there, and Kenny Shapiro is the deputy state's attorney. He's literally prosecuting the ex-wife of a very close friend and co-worker of his maliciously without any evidence just to screw with her. They're supposed to recuse themselves and have outside counsel come in to prosecute, but not here in Washington County. Gina Contraception, she's like a queen. She just runs everything here in the state's attorney's office. She doesn't care about the, the rules. Yeah, we got a female, and then her number two is a guy. Ain't no wonder I can't get nowhere. Oh, I, got, I, got the, I got the same problem right now, being convicted. 
and you had was it was nobody. it for being ridiculously good looking? Because I, I honestly, you're not going to beat that charge there. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe for a compliment. Oh uh, no, man, it was crummy traffic violation. Oh god. No cop, no witnesses. Why am I being convicted? I have no idea. You should, and I'm you here to find it. out now. You should. That's what it. I'm waiting yeah, absolutely. on. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about. The public defender's office, how much of a joke they are. OPD? Well, you know, I know people at OPD, and uh, I can say that most of them are pretty good people. Yeah, but you might have got right. a bad one. You know, you might have got them on a bad day. Oh, they got a lot of cases. Be recorded. Hey, Garrett Bryant, when are you going to get me back in court? Damn you, Garrett Bryant. You know allowed to say that? Yes, you can say whatever you want. No. We're the ones that edit this stuff. We bleep oh, it out. Man. Yeah. Maybe we put smiley faces on people. Uncensored, protected by the Eric First Cartman? Amendment. We could put Eric Cartman's head on you. you. We could turn you into Eric Cartman if you like. But if you want to proceed to the window and speak to that nice young lady see, there, see she'll be able to say. help you. And we'll Thank just you, we'll just continue talking trash about politicians. <laughs> How about that? I ain't got nothing good to say. <laughs> one thing to say about Trump. I love Trump. No, I don't. I love him. He's, He's great. He has magnificent hair, sir. Yeah, Have you seen his hair? No, he's just an idiot. He has the best I shade of orange I've ever seen on a pumpkin life. or a person's head. <laughs> I appreciate you getting the gas prices brought way down, which you want to do, but you're a an idiot. Yeah, well, I am one, too, so that's probably why I like him so much. Ask my girlfriend. I mean, look at all the stuff they're laying on this man's shoulder, and you're going to ask to be the president again. It's all you fake. Call. Yep. And now you want to do what? What's that called? Speaker of the House, come on, people. That'd be hilarious. How stupid has the human race become? All right, anyway, so that was a nice little interaction with a passerby. So I think we were talking about the whole situation with the fact that uh, the ex-girlfriend to the attorney we're referring to here, we were talking about how there's like a GPS tracker in the vehicle, but how that really doesn't fit the element of a stalking charge. Well, I mean, I've read up on stalking and it doesn't seem to apply at all. Um, it, it says like there has to be like intent to harm and we don't even have a tracking device in the evidence. We don't have anything but his say so. So finally, to wrap things up, where do you think we should go from here, like people watching this, what is the take home message as it relates to this whole situation? Is the camera on? It's always on. You have no right. You can do whatever you We're want. We're in a public lobby. You can, no, you cannot video people against, it's a felony. To video Sir. people against their will yes. in a public lobby? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it you is. You work at the state's attorney's office, you think it's a felony yes, for me sir. to videotape no, you? I wanna, I wanna help you, but I, I'm on camera here. I understand. They're interfering. So I'm swing back. Come, swing back this when is they're great. not here, and we'll help the public. Sir, we'll be gone turn, in two minutes. No, turn that off for a I'm going to keep recording. You're in a public lobby. Have a great day, sir. Freedom of the press, First Amendment. You can't walk into a store. That's and be property. Record, this record. is public property. No. I pay for this. Sir, this is the state's record. attorney's office, sir, and I'm recording I'm you. I'm advising you to stop recording. And me. I'm telling you, no. Okay. I'm and protesting I'm you, you, government employee. I'm telling you that I believe that that's a felony. Okay, well, I'm committing felony photography, Jeopardy. buddy. Charge me. You're the state's attorney's office. You can't charge me with a felony. Go ahead and get the paperwork, buddy. Go apply for charges. Take care, Rob. See you, man. Gentlemen. Come back. We'll help you out. Gotcha. Hey, good luck, buddy. And, and any, anyone who's... Never Have a great day, buddy. Enjoy that pink shirt. Hey, buddy, take care. Good luck with you. Levi Trumbull reporting inside of the Washington County State's Attorney's Office in Washington County, Maryland with Sean Porter. Take it easy.